Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to build my simple, fully automatic farm. Now, this farm could grow up to three things. We can grow wheat, carrots, and potatoes. All we literally need to do is just plop it onto that dirt block, and it will grow right before our eyes. So if I go right here, drop, drop down some wheat seeds. As you can see, wheat is created right here. I got some wheat. And if I do it again, I'll do it one more time. I get wheat. Beautiful. Now, if I drop a carrot in there, oop, I get two carrots. And if I drop a potato in there... I got, wow, four potatoes there. That was amazing. At least I didn't get any poison potatoes, right? <laughs> but it is that easy, guys. And the great thing about my version is it is completely simple and it is also very resource friendly. So as you can see, it's only too wide, guys. This whole thing is only too wide and it takes up barely resources. The only thing bad is you need two sticky pistons for this build. But let's just get into it, guys. So let's start building this thing. All right, guys. So for this build, we're going to need a five by two spacing. We're also going to have to dig down one. However, we do need to dig down one two in just one area so just make sure you have room to dig down two so the redstone we're going to need for this build is two sticky pistons three dispensers four redstone repeaters five redstone dust two redstone torches and one lever the blocks we're going to need for this is one dirt block just for our tilled ground so we can keep putting our wheat and our potatoes and all carrots and all that good stuff on there we're going to need glass and sand for our bud switch we're going to need a hoe of course to till the ground and we're going to need a bucket of water so the tilled water stays uh you know, it stays tilled the whole entire time. You don't want it to get untilled, so you need water. Also, we're going to need some bone meal, of course, to grow up our plants. We're going to need some redstone blocks. Well, that's just blocks to put our redstone on. I can't say redstone blocks anymore since now we have those on console. We're going to need some blocks of choice as well. I'm going to be using red stained clay as my block of choice. I've been using that a lot lately. I think it looks really nice. So once you got your five by two spacing, just come right to the middle, guys, and dig out these two middle blocks. This is the spot we're going to have to dig down to. As you see, there's four on this side and four on this side. So let's just do that very easy. Next, what I want you to do is put a sticky piston right here in the front facing upwards with a piece of redstone dust behind it. Next, next, take out a block of choice. You will be able to see this when it retracts down. It retracts really fast, but you still are able to see it. So just put a block of choice like this. Then coming off the right, uh, left hand side, I mean the, bleh, the right hand side of the block, we're going to put a repeater going into this block on one tick delay. Put a block behind the repeater with redstone dust on top of it. A block next to the redstone dust right here. Yeah, just go up like that and then delete the block. Then put redstone dust on top of this block as well. Next, what I want you to do is come up two on every side next to this piston. So two here, two here, and two here like that. And then we can actually put our dirt block in right here. Don't put it right above the sticky piston. Put it right here because when we put in our water, we don't want our water to go everywhere. So I like putting my uh, dirt block one above the sticky piston. Don't worry. Once it's done being built, it will go back to its normal spot. Next, what we're going to do is put a dispenser facing towards the dirt block this way, this way. And then in the back, we're going to put a sticky piston facing upwards like that. Next, we're going to do is take out the items for our sticky piston. So we don't need our dirt block anymore. So let's get rid of that. And let's take out our glass and our uh, one sand block. So just put a piece of glass right above your sticky piston. Put a sand block right above that. And now we don't need that anymore. That's going to be for our bud switch. And we can go ahead and take these blocks out. And let's take out our, I guess, our water. Let's do our water right now, actually. So right here is where our water is going to be going. So delete this block underneath the left dispenser. And we're going to put a block right here. And make sure you're using blocks of choice because you will be able to see this. Even though you don't, you can barely see it, you're still able to see it. And kind of, I guess this one you won't be able to see, but still. So right here is where our water is going to be going. What you want to do is place down your water and then place your block really quick. I mean, it doesn't really matter since it shouldn't hit any of the redstone except maybe that one. But I like to just do it real fast. So put the water down and then put the block like that. See how I did it really fast? Just make sure that water's in there. Then we don't need our water bucket anymore. And then take out your diamond hoe or whatever you're using and just till the ground. And now it'll be tilled forever. There we go. Beautiful. Now let's do some redstone guys so right up here next to this sand block we're going to put a block right here and a block right here and then right off the glass block we're going to put a dispenser facing downwards like that as you see make sure it's also dispensers guys a lot of people are getting confused with droppers and dispensers they're not the same thing make sure it's a dispenser i always get people like on my armor videos like the auto armor equip saying oh it's not auto equipping because you're probably using a dropper that's the only reason it should not be auto equipping <laughs> so just make sure it's a dispenser not a dropper next what we're going to do is just put two blocks right above these like that put redstone dust right here and here and then off the top of this dispenser going towards the right hand side we're going to put a repeater going this way on one tick delay you could you can go into crouch mode if you want to and put it down or you can just put it right off the side of the sand block doesn't really matter just make sure it's going towards the right from the front of the build Next, what we're going to do is put a repeater going this way towards the left of the build on one tick and a repeater going this way on one tick. And then right behind the repeater over here, we're going to put a block 
like that delete this block and then underneath the block put a lever and turn it on we want this repeater on at all times that will create the butt switch motion so if i actually put a block right next to this as you can see it buds see how it's budding beautiful that's what we want to happen all right so next what we're going to do is put a block right in front of this repeater right here we're going to delete this block it's not needed i'm going to put a torch off the side right here then we're going to swing over back here on the right hand side where we have this lever and we're going to put a torch off the side of this block and that's it you are complete did i hear a cow no i didn't you are completely done i got a little confused i thought i heard a cow for a second but if we take our bone meal now we put our bone meal inside our dispenser so let's go like that put 32 in each single one of our dispensers there we go and put 32 in here now if i go ahead and grow wheat or something let me take out some wheat real quick there it is so if i place some wheat in here it grows up and then i get my wheat beautiful do it again for you and you are completely done guys that's it. that's it you are done so now all you have to do is just clean it up the way you want it to look so usually i just take out my red stained clay and i go like this of course you can use whatever colors you like and then i like putting some white stained clay along the out, outer rims of it like that hide all the redstone but it's only too wide guys so it's pretty it's pretty easy to hide all the redstone for this one but there you guys go that is how you build an all fully a simple fully automatic farm <laughs> if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to two of my newest videos but literally guys all you have to do is just stand here see all you have to do is stand here and keep spamming left trigger that's all you gotta do just keep spamming left trigger and it'll do all the work for you all right guys peace